Oh, chickens, chickens, chickens. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wade Farms video. We're here in Mexico today. Here's some Mexican chickens. Um, oh, there's Mexican Gunner. Hey, Gunner. Hey, buddy. What are you following him for? You gonna try to get some food? Huh? Y'all molten? You not laying eggs? Um. You can kind of see it. <laughs> Somebody TP'd us. Uh, don't know who. I guess, uh. I don't know. I guess we'll have to try to get whoever did that back. Um, this isn't about a side by sides, but let's go check our side by side out. Alrighty, got the soft doors in the back, we got a hitch, but this side-by-side -side is the Honda Pioneer 1006-seater. This thing's a great machine. Um, uh, we popped a tire up north. Got this rototiller in the way. Hmm. Right down there, I don't know if you can really see it, but um, six seater side by side. On, I, I haven't driven this thing. Hmm, 1186 miles, so it needs its oil change. We'll do that this fall. There will be a video on it. Um, that isn't out about the Honda Pioneer. I love the Honda Pioneer. Um, but I do really like the John Deere side-by-sides too. The full ones, the 856 or 850 something, the, the full size ones, the three door or two door, three seater, full size ones, I like the most. Um, like I said, this isn't about side-by-sides, but man, I do really like them, but this force, this four-door six-seater was like 25,000. I'm not going to get a, and I get they have heat and AC and a navigation and a radio and all these nice things that John Deere has on their side-by-sides. Um... I wouldn't spend $29,000 on a stock John Deere when this thing was pretty much that price. And it's, you can haul six people. You still have your full dump a bed, which doesn't work. There might be videos on putting a power bed to this. I don't know, don't quote me on it. But um, for $29,000, I think I'd take this thing. But 19,000, like 19,000 stock Honda Pioneer and 19,000 stock John Deere. I don't know how fast the John Deeres are, but I would take a John Deere um, uh, no cab, no option over a Honda no cab, no option. I would take the John Deere over that. But let's, uh, this isn't about side by sides and four wheelers and stuff, but let's hop onto this thing and. Let's go take a look at our front yard. There's, uh, there's definitely toilet paper everywhere. Um, I was gonna, hold on. Huh, 
school toilet paper. Uh, I guess, uh, I mean, really, if you're gonna TP me, you better use some Charmin. Um, but I was gonna take the tractor and I was gonna have somebody help me, um, try to get all this toilet paper down. So let's, let's go see if that will happen. Hop on our Jason e-bike. How many miles got? 97.2. We'll hop out here to the tractor. Them brakes sound horrible, but huh, they're gonna sound bad. All right, we gotta start this tractor up. We gotta put the bucket on it. And uh, we're in Mexico today, so. Toasty in here, that's for sure. Let the glow plugs go down here in the corner. Uh, I think they went. Yup. Uh, we're turning some AC on. Just well, maybe on high until it cools down in here. We are uh, gonna stand in this bucket. I can't film it, which sucks, but you guys seen the toilet paper and stuff. So I'll just hook the bucket up and I'll go out and uh, I'll have to show you a before and after because uh, I'm not getting taken down on YouTube. So, come on Gunner, eating some grass, buddy. All right. Um. Yep, this LS tractor is just going to look. Lower that down all the way. Hmm. I don't know if that will lower down and hook. Oh, hey, chickens. Chickens. Chicken, 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 chicken. Oh, you know what? I think it'll work for this. I think it'll work for that. Just the one thing I wanted to know. Yeah, we're gonna use this, that. That will hook onto that perfectly. And I like the outside adjustment. And we'll just raise it up just a little bit. Should be all good and warmed up now. She ain't working too hard, so. All right. Oh, it is still a little hot in here. We'll crank. We'll put it on that. All right, parking brakes down here, so we'll get rid of that. We'll rev it up. 1,500, 15 on the tack. We'll raise, this is our raise. We'll tilt a little bit. Well, we'll just leave it just like that. We'll put on the brake. We will put it into two. And we gotta. Gotta set this down. Neutral, pull the parking brake or it'll yell at you. Quick release.
it's uh it's kind of hard to hook on to this I'm just kidding, we didn't get done this early and it take us like 12 hours. <laughs> Heck, would it? Yeah, it would have been, could have, it's close to 12 hours, but got most of it cleaned up. It was, you know, it was cool. This tractor did a good job. Um, really got inside and, you know, got the seat comfortable and everything. And I'm just playing around with it now, but. We'll give a shout out to Morel Equipment. That's where we bought this. So hopefully this just turns out to be a good tractor for us. Um, it's early in the morning. Oh, well, it's going to be a little bit of a short video. I just wasn't going to risk filming it. So, But who doesn't want to see the chickens in the morning? Because everybody loves chickens, right, Gunner? Okay. Well, we're going to go see the chickens. Oh, Jesus. This thing's, like, fast. I got it in like first speed just using an electric motor and it just has torque. Oh, chickens. Good morning. Yeah. God, I can barely see ya. Huh? Do I need a flashlight to be in here on all of this? I need a flashlight to even see you. Is there mice? Why are y'all pooping up here? What are you doing? Huh? Rooster? Hens? Well, hens are already outside. Yeah. All right, come on, Gunner. Oh. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed. If they did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell post notifications. We'll catch you guys next time in Mexico at Weed Farms. <laughs>